Hey all you hot peps and peppers, it's the Pepper Ranger here with another pod review. Today I'm going to be trying out these mean looking things. Purple Ghost Scorpion. Got the seeds from... Purple Ghost Scorpion is a cross between a Purple Ghost and a Trinidad Butch Tea Scorpion. So it's going to be uh, at least around Ghost Pepper Heat. Disclaimer, I've only ever had a chocolate habanero. That's the hottest pepper I've ever had. It was hot. I sweat a lot. Said some words. This is going to be hotter. So we'll see. I have my chalk and milk today. I'm wearing a glove so you know it's serious. But I've been wanting to try a super hot for a while now and uh, I'm excited to try it with, the, with this one. Here we go. Has a really sweet smell. Ton of oil in there. I can't really get it focused. This pod started out purple and then it ripens to kind of like a, a light green and then goes almost completely green until it finally starts changing to an orange reddish color. Pictures I saw online, the insides are still kind of purple. This one, eh, maybe a little bit in the veins. Um, yes, yeah, super sweet smell, like most, most of these super hots. It smells spicy. I am not going to try a whole piece because I would like to enjoy the rest of my evening, but I'm going to try that little sliver. Here we go. All right, so nice fruity flavor. It burns. But it has, I mean, it started off where I could actually taste the pepper. Nice and sweet. Now some of the other peppers I've tried had the quick heat, comes on fast, fades fast. This one's building a little bit, but not too bad. I'm gonna have another bite. This one has a little bit more of the uh, placenta in it. A little bit bigger chunk, a little bit more spice. <coughs> we'll let it build a little bit. It was mostly on the tongue with that piece since it was bigger. Now I'm getting it in the uh, in the throat a little bit. I'm starting to sweat. Not going for that uh, that milk quite yet. This one's been off the uh, the plant for a few days. I don't think that changes uh, how spicy it is, but I guess it's not as hot as I uh, thought it would be. Although now we're starting to get somewhere. My tongue is, tip of my tongue is just on fire. I was trying to, uh, to get more of the flavor of it. it. Smells like a ghost, based on some of the ghosts that I've made for, are used for sauces. <clears throat> not if you can see if I'm sweating or not. I am, uh, I'm gonna be making a sauce with these here in a little bit and some of the other peppers I've grown so far. Just kind of a mix of everything that I have that's ripe, along with some uh, homegrown garlic, onions, maybe some carrots and tomatoes. All right, I think I'm gonna go for 
the rest of the uh, the one half. Might as well, right? So yeah, the, <clears throat> it takes a little bit for it, for the burn to come on. You actually do get a flavor, and then a few seconds later, the, the heat just comes on pretty strong. I might end up eating this whole pod. Just to say I did it. No, I'm not gonna do that. This is plenty. Try to get all the pieces out of my teeth so I'm not burning later on. Eyes are starting to water. Not really getting it in the throat anymore. <clears throat> Mostly just uh, on the tongue, but it's, it's, it's burning pretty good now. That was a big piece. I am going to uh, get a napkin here so I can wipe my eyes safely. Whew. I am not going for the, the milk quite yet. I can handle it. So right now I have actually four of these plants growing, three in uh, five gallon buckets, and then one in the raised beds. Two of them that, uh, that were really good plants early on, and that I grabbed these pods off of, they're kind of stalling out with the heat. Uh, the one that I have in my raised bed is just taking off, and then uh, the other one in the five gallon bucket was a runt when I transplanted it, and now it's just huge, bushy, really dark foliage plant. But yeah, really neat looking. These two pods look more like uh, ghost peppers. Some of, the <clears throat> Some of the ones I have growing on uh, the, the other one in my five gallon bucket, they're more round and look kind of taking the shape of a scorpion. This is the description I, I bought them on, was that it's a F3, maybe an F4, I can't remember, um, but it's still unstable. So you'll get different color pods, maybe, maybe different color shape or different shapes. But the heat is there, tastes really good. It's a neat looking plant and uh, the pods are really cool. The, the ripening that goes on is really neat. I have some pictures that I took that I can post in the video, and it's really cool. I think we've probably topped out. <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna get any hotter unless I eat more, which, well, tempting. I don't want this to be a hour long video. So I'm probably just gonna end it there. All right, so again, purple ghost scorpion, grown from seed. Hot, but very tasty. Again, I'll have, uh, I'll have seeds from these available at the end of the season uh, for anyone that wants to purchase them. Check out my Instagram pepper.ranger and uh, yeah that's all for now I'm gonna get a, a glass of uh, milk right here and uh, enjoy it take it easy